final nail in Harry's coffin. Sussex gets into trouble over struggling for Archul Foundation. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are struggling to get trademarks for their Archul charity organization in the United States, according to a report in the British media. According to the report, the royal couple has been trying to get trademarks since March 2020 when they first submitted documents. But they were sent back because the application was vague and the documents were signed, the report in mailplus.co.uk said. In June 2021, they were requested more information and last November authorities asked for more clarification. It said the couple's application has now been published in the U.S. trademark official Gazette for People. The report came as Meghan and Harry's Archul Foundation announced a number of non-profit investments in leading organizations working to advance gender equity, build policies that empower women and families, ensure meaningful media representation for women, and provide women with a network of tools and support for gaining employment. Recently, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have created a brand around supporting women and minorities. As such, perhaps it is not surprising that the couple will be doing something special for March, which is Women's History Month. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex recently announced an exciting initiative for the coming few weeks. Harry and Meghan have both been open about supporting women's empowerment around the world. For example, Angela Murphy, who is the CEO of the charity Tomorrow's Women Wirral, explained that Harry once revealed he is a feminist in 2019. Murphy said, via Marie Claire, during a discussion about tomorrow's women we're all being a women's only centre Prince Harry, to our delight, declared I'm a feminist and highlighted that it is equally important for men to support the movement in female empowerment. Meanwhile, Meghan is also a feminist and was even named the United Nations Women's Advocate for Women's Political Participation and Leadership in 2015. Meghan's fight for gender equality also started when she was young. According to the Duchess, when she was 11 years old, she wrote letters to protest a Procter & Gamble dish soap commercial that she deemed sexist. On March 1, Harry and Meghan announced on the website of their charity foundation, Archual, that they will provide grants to support organizations that empower women. While we celebrate contributions from women throughout history, and reflect on the work that remains to achieve a safe, just, and equal world for women and girls, Archul Foundation is proud to advance the missions of the following groups through new grants, the statement said. The recipients include the Center on Poverty and Inequality at Georgetown University Law Center, the National Women's Law Center, news outlet The 19th, and the charity Smart Works. Part of Archul Foundation's core commitment is to build strong, compassionate, and equitable communities across the world, Harry and Meghan added. Although these grants have been announced as we recognize Women's History Month, the work they represent is relevant and vital every day of the year. On February 26, Harry and Meghan received the President's Award from the NAACP for their work in social justice. Derek Johnson, President and CEO of the NAACP, said in a statement, we're thrilled to present this award to Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who together have heeded the call to social justice and have joined the struggle for equity both in the US and around the world. Additionally, the NAACP and Archul also teamed up to create the new NAACP Archul Digital Civil Rights Award. It aims to celebrate leaders that are creating transformational change at the intersection of social justice and technology, working to advance civil and human rights.